Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a short jailbreak news for you guys in regards to new jailbreaks as well as ETAs for new jailbreak tools. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so first off guys, go and smash up to 10 likes on this video again. Of course, like always, you guys have been smashing the amount of likes that I've been requesting, so thank you guys so much. Don't forget to also comment something down below for a chance to get pinned. But anyways, let's get straight right into the news. Now, the first thing I do want to talk about is Morpheus. So like in my last jailbreak update video, I told you guys that he is releasing a new toolkit in regards to an iOS 11 jailbreak. This is not exactly a jailbreak that he is releasing, but is a tool for developers to use in order to make and compile a jailbreak. So he does say in this tweet, stop nagging and mentioning me in regards to languages I can't read. Proper code signed bypass makes this stable and 64-bit universal takes time. Toolkit ETA, which it will be this weekend to support every 64-bit device on iOS as well as on TV OS for Apple TVs on iOS 11.1.x or lower. So with that being said, guys, do not at him. Do not ask him for ETAs. His only ETA is saying that this weekend since he has made the Apple TV a priority in regards to the iPhone. So let's go ahead and just wait patiently, guys. Hopefully, and we might possibly be able to see a jailbreak before Christmas time this year. But if that's not the case, then I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing one at the end of this month as well as early in January so the next thing I do want to talk about is Tim star in his ETA Sun jailbreak now today he actually released beta 5 of ETA Sun which fixes the done jailbreak bug in regards to his jailbreak as well as he also compiles the untethered deb that you install on his repo in regards to having an untethered jailbreak on iOS 8.4.1 but he went in fact and compiled the deb inside of the IPA as well so once you guys silo the IPA hit jailbreak it should also install the untethered jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1 so you guys will not no longer need to have the IPA for future references in regards to 8.4.1 but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. There's not too much to talk about for today since there has not been too much news in regards to a new jailbreak. But these are some new information that was released today that I wanted to share with you guys in regards to jailbreaking for iOS devices. So like I said, we're going to be expecting a new iOS 11 jailbreak very soon. I'm pretty excited to see that my iPhone 10 will soon be able to be jailbroken and install tweaks onto it without having the need to be unjailbroken anymore. And with that being said, there's going to be a lot of new possibilities for iOS 11 tweaks as well as for the iPhone 10 in regards to a dark mode which I really do hope that developers do take advantage of the OLED capabilities on the device. So with that being said guys that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as a lot more videos in regards to an iOS 10 as well as iOS 11 jailbreak in the future. Don't forget to snapshot or scan this snap code to add me on snapchat as well as follow me on my twitter page and my facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out